assalamu alaikum beautiful people calculating quantity of materials and hundred safety block wall today in this short video lecture i will find the total quantity of cement block in this wall with cement mortar and how many cement bags are required to cover this wall with cement block okay as you can see here the length of this wall is suppose 20 feet and its height is 10 feet and thickness of the wall is 0 0.5 feet means 6 inches so how many cement blocks are required to complete this wall also how much mortar volume is required and also cement bags okay so if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video and you may subscribe this channel for more civil engineering updates first of all to find the quantity of cement block we need to find the volume of wall here guys this is wall so the length of this wall is 20 feet height is 10 feet thickness of the wall is 0 0.5 feet means 6 inches so here guys the second one is block so length of the block which i'm using in this wall to complete this wall with the help of cement block okay so here the length of this block is here which i'm using for this which is 16 inches height is 8 inches and thickness is 6 inches okay 16 by 8 by 6 inch okay so the block length is 6, 16 inches height is 8 inches thickness is 0 0.5 feet means 6 inches okay so here guys i need to find the volume of wall so the volume of wall is l multiplied by h multiplied by t where l is 20 feet height is 10 feet thickness is 0 0.5 feet so 20 multiply 10 multiply 0 0.5 so we uh, we have total 100 cft so therefore the topic is calculating quantity of materials and 100 cft block wall so the block wall is 100 cft now guys what is the volume of block which i'm using to complete this wall so the cement block volume is v is equal volume okay where we have 1.33 feet by 0 0.66 feet by 0 0.5 feet where when you convert inches to the feet so 16 should be divided by 12 8 should be divided by 12 6 should be divided by 12 so it will become one point here 1.33 when you do its calculation so 1.33 is equal 0 0.66 and it will become 0 0.5 16 divided by 12 so 0 0.5 so the volume of the block is v 1.33 multiply 0 0.66 multiply 0 0.5 so the total volume of cement block is 0 0.4443 safety so now guys in second page we have volume of mortar required okay sorry here guys volume of block with mortar so guys you can see the volume of block is without mortar which is 100 safety okay now the volume of the and the volume of block is 0 0.4443 safety so now what is the volume of block with mortar so guys here clearly you can see the this is the wall and you can see the blocks so the cement thickness is here three sutter so three by eight so it becomes 0 0.375 so these layers cement layers you can see for binding the cement block so it will become 16 inch plus 3.375 inch okay so therefore 
with matter, the volume of the block should become with matter 16.375 and the height is 8 inches so it will become 8.375 inch okay so therefore volume of block with matter 16.375 multiply 8.375 multiply 6 so therefore to convert these inches to the feet so 16.375 should be divided by 12 8.375 should be divided by 12 and 6 inch should be divided by 12 so the total volume of the block become with matter 0.47650 50 where without the matter is 0.443 50 so this is the difference with matter without matter so now guys number of blocks required how many numbers of blocks are required to complete this wall which length is 20 feet height is 20 feet uh, 10 feet and thickness is 0 0.5 feet so number of blocks required 100 what is 100 volume of block the volume of wall 150 divided by 0 0.476 volume of block with mortar this one that's why because we have we are also using the mortar so therefore the matter should be 8 to take the correct quantity of blocks for the wall. So 100 divided by 150 volume of block, volume of wall divided by volume of block with matter 0 0.476. So we required 210 numbers of blocks to complete this wall. Now guys, in the last page we have here volume of matter how much matter is required to complete this wall so volume of matter volume of wall subtract volume of total numbers of blocks okay so 100 is the volume of block and the volume of wall so 210 numbers are required so multiply without the matter because without the matter when we find without the matter so then 100 subtract 210 blocks are required okay so without the matter volume of the block is 0 0.443 so therefore when you do calculation for this you will get 93.30 okay volume of wall without matter with matter it should be 100 safety okay so therefore here guys you can see we required the 100 subtract 93.30 so 6.697 CFT matter is required but this is wet volume of matter 6.697 now we will convert the dry that's why because we bring dry material from the market so convert to the dry so the wet the wet volume of matter increase 33 percent of the wet volume so therefore 6.697 multiply 1.33 because 33 percent it increase so the dry volume will become 8.97 safety so now here we will do the matter ratio which is 1 ratio 6 where 1 is cement 6 is sand so sum of ratio become 7 so volume of cement now i need to find the volume of cement so one one part is cement six part is sand so one is cement so one divided by sum of ratio which is seven multiply 8.97 dry volume so we required 1.28 safety volume of cement now i need to find numbers of bags how many numbers of cement bag is required to complete 10 by 20 by 10 by 0.5 wall this one which is 100 safety so cement bags 1.28 which is the volume of cement divided by cement bag which volume is 1.22 so we required 1.04 cement bags to complete this wall how to find quantity of cement so here you can use again 6 divided by 7 so this is for sand multiply 8.97 you will get the volume of sand so guys this is a short video in which I discussed how to calculate the quantity of materials in 100 safety block wall. 
सो थैंक्स वॉचिंग सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड बाय